Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In the last video, we have discussed how to use L293D IC to control motors. As you can see, we have used push button switch as our input signal provider. In this video, we are going to use Arduino board as an input signal provider. And also, we are going to see how to control the speed of the motor. So let's get started. In the previous video, we have discussed this circuit. Now, to connect our Arduino, we have to remove these resistors, these 10 kilo ohms resistors, these four resistors are removed. After this, we have to remove this switch. These are four switches. Switch are removed. Now I am removing its connection. Now we have to remove this high signal from the enable pin pin 1 and pin 9 here is pin number 1 and pin number 9 these are removed here it is Arduino this is for IC voltage that is 5 volt and this is for motor now we have to connect the Arduino to the IC now we have to see one thing we must connect PWM pin of Arduino to pin number 1 and 9. Then only we can control the speed of the motor. I will connect pin 5 and pin 10. These two are PWM pin. So this is how I have connected Arduino to the IC. And then we have to connect this ground and we have to connect plus 5 volt to Arduino. So this will be our connection. Pin number 1 is enable 1 and it should be connected to D5. Pin number 2 is input 1 and it is connected to D6. Pin number 7 is input 2 and it is connected to D7 of Arduino. Pin number 9 is enable 2 and it should be connected to D10 of Arduino. Pin number 10 is input 3 and it is connected to D11. Pin number 15 of IC is input 4 and it is connected to D12 of Arduino. Now I am connecting ground of Arduino to negative rail. Connecting external power supply. Here it is positive and negative. Connecting the USB. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. Now it's time to see the program. First, we have to define the pins. Pin number 1 is enable A and this pin is connected to pin number 5 that is D5 and enable B is connected to D10. I am writing it enable A and it is connected to 5 and enable B is connected to D10. Pin number 2 is input 1 and it is connected to D6. Pin number 7 is input 2 and it is connected to D7. Pin number 10 is input 3 and it is connected to D11 and input 4 that is pin number 15 is connected to D12. I will write input 1. Input 1 is connected to D6. Two, three, and 4. It is connected to pin 7, then D11 and 12. This is all about the pin. Now we have to tell the Arduino that whether the pins are input or output. For that, pin mode enable A, it is output. All pins are output.
in the previous video we have seen how to use this IC so according to that we will write the logic now we want to run our motor both the motor at clockwise direction for that we have to give some logic to the input pins the logic is whether it is low or high so digital write input 1 low input 2 high input 3 high and input 4 low and we want to run our motor at full speed for that we have to use enable pin so for that we have to write analog write enable a the maximum value is 255 now both the motor will run at full speed now uploading this as you can see it is running at full speed if I decrease this number let's say 127 it will be run at half speed uploading see we can decrease more one motor is not able to run because I think the gears of that motor is somewhat tight we'll try at 120 We will test 110 no it is not able to run so I think the minimum speed we can get is 120 ok now how to stop the motor just make it zero or you can make all this same logic that is all low or all high now we will see another thing I will keep a delay the motor will run at clockwise for 3 seconds after running clockwise I want to stop the motor for half second then want to run anti-clockwise so for that we have to reverse this logic we have to replace low with high and high with low now as you can see both the motor is running at same direction now if you want to run motors in opposite direction then what we have to do is this two is for first motor and this two is for second motor we want to run opposite direction so we have to make it low and this one high first it will run opposite direction and then it will run same direction it is running same direction because because of this logic now we will see how to control the speed for that we have to use for loop for as you have seen the minimum speed is 120 
so I'm writing here 120 then I less than equal to the maximum speed is 255 I plus plus it will increase the speed slowly we have to write this analog write inside the for loop after this we have to decrease the speed for that again we need for loop the maximum speed is 255 greater or equal to z, uh, the minimum speed is 120 then i minus minus now you will see both the motor running at full speed for one second and then it will decrease the speed these are to stop the motor by using for loop I am increasing the PWM value it will start from 120 the maximum value is 255 then it will run for one second and then it will decrease the speed from 255 to 120 because 120 is the minimum value again I will put a delay here for one second now uploading this clockwise stopping slowing down the speed so like this it is increasing and decreasing the speed now if you want to run the motor in opposite direction then make the low to high and high to low ok uploading this it is clockwise and anti-clockwise speeding up and speeding low so this is how you can program and if you want to control only one motor then just make it zero now I'm uploading this only one motor will run increasing the speed and decrease clockwise and anti-clockwise so guys this is how you can program according to your requirements I explained only the basic thing how to provide inputs to the IC so guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.